so yo what's the word bro this truth teller from we are the truth tellers how you doing broski Oh, what's good, my man? What's good? What's good? What's going down with you, brother? Man, I'm cool, bro. I appreciate you letting me chop it up with you. Now, for the people who might not know, let them know exactly what your name is and where you're from, bro. Yo, what's going on, man? It's your boy Danny, man. I go by the name of Danny CC Danny on IGCC.Danny on everything else. You understand me? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Exactly where you're from, bro. I'm from Los Angeles, California, by way of everywhere else, man. Earth is my turf. Uh, I'm not going to lie, bro. It seemed like in the beginning, L.A. was like a big fixture in this music shit. They still a big fixture in this music shit, too. So don't get me wrong, but it seemed like the L.A. sound and kind of got updated. Is people from Los Angeles okay with the upcoming rappers from out there? I mean, when you think about it, especially from, from, from the standpoint of uh, a public, a public opinion, L.A.'s always had it on lock. L.A.'s always had, LA's always had a certain degree of culture that, you know, that, that they've been able to uh, motherfucker put out that nobody else has been able to motherfucking match, you understand? The West Coast is always going to be the West Coast. You know, when you got motherfucking, the greats obviously starting from fucking Uncle Shoot all the way to motherfucking, my, my, my motherfucking man, Nipsey Hussle, who, who just did that big shit with Atlantic, man, who's killing shit right now, bro. Like, the West is always going to be relevant in some way, shape, or form. We always continue to motherfucking, you know, we always continue to always reinvent ourselves and keep motherfucking pushing that shit. Right. Is it is it is it a such thing as the LA sound or is that is that officially not there no more? I mean, honestly, LA is just I mean, I feel like LA LA is the new LA. Let's keep it a hundred. Gotta keep it a hundred. What do you say now? I say you gotta keep it a hundred now. Alright, I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you, bro. The new LA, what the new LA is missing, bro, is really nothing. Because you got niggas like RJ, he doing his shit. My nigga Musk doing his shit. My brother AB, that nigga doing his shit. Motherfuckers is tapping back into the old ways, into the old shit that made us work. How the West was one in the first place, my nigga. And oh, and I can't even, I can't even have this conversation without mentioning my nigga game. Right. I can't have this conversation without mentioning my nigga game. You know what I'm saying? There's always been that gangster element to L.A., but you already know that shit comes from Chicago and Alabama and Florida and everywhere else. It's a mixture. It's a fucking big melting pot. That's what we got out now for the reason L.A. was so prevalent back then. The reason L.A. is still, you know, prevalent to this day and making a comeback on the upswing. Right, you know what? A lot of videos and a lot of documentarians and shit like that, they, they, they always documented L.A. as far as the Bloods and the Crips and the big gang wars that was going on out there. Uh, I see it kind of travel. It's dangerous everywhere. But I want to know, bro, is, is that culture still out there? Is, 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 is Cali a still a dangerous place? Listen, bro, Cali ain't never stopped being dangerous. But then again, it's all about how you carry yourself out here, too. You understand what I'm saying? Niggas go to the store every day and motherfuckers still ask you where you from out here. It don't make no goddamn sense because, you know, cops is killing us every day, but still. Like, nigga, that, L.A. is always going to be L.A. It's always going to be blood there. It's always going to be crib there. I, I live in the middle of a crib neighborhood, but I got a lot of blood on me still. You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, like one, one way or the other, L.A. ain't never going to stop being, L.A. ain't never going to stop being the motherfucking uh, wave your black capital of the world. It ain't going to happen. Right. You know what I'm saying? Bro, it seemed like it, it, it seemed like it's been a surge in the killings when it comes to the young people, uh, especially being from L.A. and being, like you say, close to those neighborhoods. Uh, from your opinion, why do you think the youth and a lot of the young people uh, just don't have a care for life no more? Well, I mean, honestly, honestly, it's just it's just the way it is, bro. Like, every generation changes. Every generation does something different. Every generation has something different to add. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's just like with any other state, any other culture. When you go to when you go to New York, it was you know back in New York, back in you know. And shout out to shout out to Biscuit for this one. You know, motherfuckers, motherfuckers was wearing big back pants, big tails with the big North face, with big. But now you know, they get the skinny jeans out and doing so on and so forth. Shit changes in LA. It's the same thing. You know, niggas was you know khakis and dicky suits and. And Cortez's and Chucks, and you know, it's some niggas that still hold that shit in and still live by that shit. But it's a lot of niggas that do, you know, that do it. That that's on a different wave as well. Right. You know, the same with the jerk era and all that shit. Niggas, you know what I'm saying? I'm from Long Beach originally. You know what I'm saying? I was born in LA, but really, I'm Long Beach is my home. Long Beach is where I found my man. Long Beach is where I fuck. I grew up and found my sound and found myself. You understand know what I'm saying? Niggas walk around, niggas walk around, motherfucking skinny jeans on motherfucking skateboards and shit. With a forty, <laughs> with a forty, with a forty, and they motherfucking backpack and blow your motherfucking head off. You feel me? Uh -huh. Like so, it's the 
it's all it's always been it's always been a gangster element to it. Just because the clothes change don't mean that the spirit of the, don't mean that the spirit of the clothes change. That's point blank. Facts. That's some real shit, bro. Uh, I done checked out a lot of your music, bro. It seemed like you take this shit serious. Um, how do you feel about... I want to know. I asked a lot of people about this record label shit. That's one of my top questions I asked because I'm just confused as hell about it. Uh, how do you feel about this shit? You, you, you like the independent hustle or it's like, fuck that, you're going you gonna to sign a major label? Well, I'm going to tell you like this, bro. If it ain't independent, you should end it. Okay, hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. See, that's the thing. People tell me that all the time, but they don't explain to me. And see, if it ain't independent, you should, you should end it. And the reason I say that, I say, I, I, I use one of the hottest artists right now as a prime example, Uzi. Uzi's a prolific artist because, you know, he, he changed basically, he put hip hop and, and things into a genre of his own. But the thing with Uzi, Uzi, what, what was that? Uh, the All My Friends of the Tour Life? Yeah. Okay, Tour Life did so much so much revenue and you know my man got my man got a a, 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 a tiny piece off of that shit you understand what I'm saying motherfuckers made millions and from I think from what I was reading I think he got like what like 900 bands come off that shit when he should have been the one getting the millions and, 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 and they should have been the ones you know had it been independent such as like the E-40 you know where if a nigga go gold or if a, if a nigga a nigga can go wood independent and still make money you understand what I'm saying facts a nigga can go wood independent and still make money so if it ain't independent nigga stand it. I mean major labels are great like the situation like I was talking about with Nipsey to go back to Nipsey Nipsey just went uh, went ahead with the all money situation with Atlantic and because of the fact that he stuck to his guns on his independent grind he was able to ask for what the fuck he wanted to give him exactly what he wanted and when you doing shit and, and working on your own terms and, and not punking out on your dream and not letting nobody define what your dream is to you for you, you do whatever the fuck you want. Point blank, period. Independent and ended. Point blank. Fact. I don't have a reason to sign to a major record label because of the simple fact that I don't want the niggas telling me when I can put records out, when I can't put records out, what's hot, what's not, so on and so forth. Streets don't fill the motherfucker up. The streets fill the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers be having label I don't, I'm, first of all, I, my ancestors were slaves. Why the fuck should I be? Facts. I hear you on that, bro. It make a lot of sense. What new projects you got coming out, bro? The people want to fuck with you. What, what, what can they check out? I think I'm going to debut a few records from you. Uh, what can the people check out from you? Say that one more again, my brother. I say you got anything new out. What can the people check out from you? Well, man, uh, this Fuck You Pay Me record is, is like my heart and soul right now. Uh, I think I'm going to debut that, too. Yeah, this shit is my heart and soul. I just, you know, we finished the video for it. We're dropping that bitch on New Year's Day. You understand what I'm saying? Um, but fuck you, pay me. That's, that's kind of my heart and soul right now. I've been trying to, I, you know, for, for years I've been trying to put out this, put out that, you know, three records here, four records there. Fuck that. I, I literally say, yo, I'm going to do this one record. I'm going to make it make sense. And, I mean, the premise is simple. Fuck you, pay me. If you don't. Anybody that that shit don't resonate with is out of their fucking mind. Facts. You get if even a motherfucker that go to McDonald's every day, sorry, our ice cream machine is broken ass motherfuckers, yo, head ass boy. Like they still want their money at the end of the motherfucking day. Like it's always gonna be fuck you pay me no matter what, from the billionaires to the nothing, not half nothing ass. You feel me? Like oh, that, that's on the real shit. Real shit, bro. I feel you on that. The people want to get out with you, bro. Somebody want to sign you to a label, man. Somebody rocking with your move, man. Let me get all your social media sites. Man, um, so on Instagram, I'm, uh, I'm cce.danny. That's the letter C, letter C, letter E with a period. D